Four Season Canvas Tent by Vivor. I'll be camping out tonight in the rain. Welcome to Doug Shoe Bushcraft. Everything comes in its own duffel bag. Weighs about 40 pounds of my scale. You've got the tent itself. Then you have a bag with the poles and the stakes. So it's really easy setup. You just set it down on the ground. It's important to get your door facing the way that you want. But it's a big circle, so you can just spin it around to get it to where you want it. Then you stake it down. Then you assemble a center pole. Put that in the middle. There's a reinforced area you can see at the peak of the tent and corresponding one on the floor. You put that in and it will just stand by itself for the purpose of assembly. Then there's a V-shaped support. You assemble that and that goes in front of the door, supports the door area. Then all you have to do is stake down your lines and you're done. Really, really easy setup. And it's a very strong design, notice the peak, they're calling a four season tent, so the peak will shed snow. Uh, the canvas is rugged and also breathable, just sheds water right off. And it's summer now, so I won't be demonstrating it, but there's a stove jack, place for your stove pipe to go through. So in the winter you need heat, you want to cook inside, you can if you have a wood stove.
my final thoughts about the Vivor Four Season Canvas Tent. The style they're calling a bell tent. In other words, there's a conical roof, but then there's a separate lower peak over the door. So it's a perfect like cone except for the big front door. And I love that because you get a nice steep roof to shed rain or in the winter the snow. But then with the secondary peak over the door, that means I could have the door open for ventilation during even pretty heavy downpour and rain wasn't coming in. If a strong wind was blowing right in that direction, I could close the storm flaps, but in my tests that never happened. And I usually left the screens open for purposes of filming, uh, but it does have a screen door you can zip shut. There's also along the perimeter uh, small windows. And I like the way those are set up because you have the peak of the roof, but then you have a low wall and the windows, perimeter windows along the low wall and set in from the edge of your roof. So again, I could unzip those, has a screen and uh, getting the airflow, really nice airflow because it was summer night, hot night, even despite the rain, uh, but I had wonderful airflow. It's a vintage look in my opinion with the beige canvas, just really nice old timey look, looks great. Um, and also canvas is breathable. The floor is, I would call it a very thick vinyl, so waterproof floor, but at the same time the vintage look. It does have the stove jack, so you can put a wood stove in there with your stove pipe coming through. Haven't done it yet. I'm planning on <laughs> camping out in a snowstorm. Maybe I'll get lucky. It'll be, actually be a blizzard and I can be out there. So that's something to look forward to in the future. So I thank you Vivor for sending me this wonderful tent to review. Uh, just so nice. I thank you guys for joining me. See you again soon. Lord, I'll sing of your love forever. Everyone yet to be born will hear me praise your faithfulness. I will tell them, God's love can always be trusted. His faithfulness lasts as long as the heavens. Psalm 89, 1 and 2.